Okay, Assalamualaikum. Hello, welcome back. This is a third video of STM32 UI Interfacing Series. In this lesson, we are going to see how to write a coding to transfer or to transmit data to serial communication using UART methods. Okay, let's start with example 4A. So you can refer to our STM32 textbook. So in this example, our objective is to transmit character A, B, C continuously to serial com. After complete the coding, we simulate this program using a Proteus simulation. Okay, this is our STM32 UI interfacing circuit. So we will use this circuit to simulate our coding. So you can refer to STM32 UART produce video on how to develop this circuit. So refer to this circuit. So we use UART2, that is a PA2 pin. UART2TX is connected to serial com RX and PA3 pins. That is a UART2RX is connected to serial com TX. Okay, let's start with uh, coding development. So we start the coding with type include stm32f10x.h and then we declare the function that we will use in this example. So we use two functions here in this example. The first is usat 2 write and then the second is delay ms, delay millisecond. So I will elaborate more on this function after this. So in the main function, this main function, the first step is to enabling the clock for GPIO A and for UART 2. For GPIO A, we type a syntax RCC APB2 enable register is equal to 0004 or in binary. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So bit number 2 is for GPIOA. So we enable the clock for GPIOA. So after that, we type the syntax according to enable the clock for UART 2 Ferrer. That is a pin 17 in APB1 enable register. So the syntax is RCC APB1 enable register equal to 0x 2000 so this will set the pin 17 of APB1 enable register that belong to the UART2 enable clock ok next we configure the GPIO port so in this example we use a port A2 and A3 so we configure port A2 as alternate function that is 1010 in binary or equivalent to A in hex. For PA3, we configure as input floating equal to 0100 or 4 in hex. So please refer back to our last video for detailed explanation about port configuration. Okay, the next step, we need to enable the pin and you start to enable pin. Both pin in is in CR1 register. We type you start to CR1 is equal to 0 x 2000 and then you start to CR1 0 x 0 We can combine these two instructions and then just type you start 2 CR1 is equal to 2008. Okay, last step for initialization USAT, we write a syntax to set the baud rate. We want the USAT to run at uh, 9600 bit per second. So we write a syntax USAT BRR is equal to 0x 0EA6. We already discussed in detail in this is the previous in the previous video for the formula to calculate the value for what rate. 
please refer to that video. Okay, that's all for USAT initialization. So we are now ready to use the USAT module in our program. So uh, to transmit the character ABC, we will write a function name as USAT2, right? So this function will transmit the character to data register. So why? When we call this function, is first monitor the TX buffer. That is a bit uh, 7 in a status register. To make sure that uh, the data is transferred completely. So when the character is completely arrived, then it passed to the data register. So we want to transmit the character ABC. So we write a syntax USAT A, a USAT 2, right? Bracket A. This is called the USAT write function with a passing parameter character A and then we continue with passing the character B and C and after that we call the function delay 15 millisecond so this coding will continue to transmit character ABC and with a 50 millisecond delay to serial form okay after complete the coding so we will run uh, the code to check if there is any error okay let's compile it was first by pressing the compile button and then there is no error if there is no error if there is an error so you need to troubleshoot the error and then compile it again okay we go to the next step to run the simulation in produce simulation Okay, double click the IC to upload the hex file. Okay, one important thing is that uh, to set up the crystal frequency. So in this example, we use the UART2 module, so which uh, you have to use uh, APB2 bus with a maximum frequency is uh, 36 megahertz. So we need to set up our frequency here to 36 megahertz. So and then we uh, type the 36 megahertz and then we click OK. OK, so we run the simulation. Click the run button. That is uh, the result. It will show the ABC, character ABC continuously. Okay, when you run and uh, visual terminal is not appear, so you need to go to the debug, debug, and then click the visual terminal. So it will display the visual terminal when you run the simulation. Okay, we stop the, the, the simulation. Okay, we continue with the example 4B that is to transmit the string to the serial com. In example 4A, we have done a, a coding to transmit a character. However, in this method, However, this method is not uh, appropriate when we want to transmit a string because you need to repeat the transmit coding many times. So in this example for me, we use array method to transmit uh, this, uh, data to the serial com. Okay, example for me, we want to transmit the uh, wording selamat datang or string selamat datang to the serial So in the main function, in the main function, we need uh, to declare our array first. Okay, by type the syntax character A, 
is equal to and then uh, curly bracket so you put our wording selamat datang and then close the curly bracket okay our array name is a so this is our array name a and our string is uh, wording is selamat datang the initialization is same as before as in example for a so in a while loop we write according to transmit our array data once at a time so we use a for loop with the starting i is equal to zero ending with a i is not equal to a zero and increment by one step and then call a function you start to write okay this loop will transmit our array from a0 to end of array once at a time okay let's compile uh, this coding and then uh, we run using produce uh, simulation Okay, so we uh, transmit wording selamat datang. Selamat datang continuously in the same line. The same line. Okay, if you want to transmit two string or two wording, okay, uh, you stop this mention first. If you want to transmit uh, two string or two wording in as in example 4c we want to transmit two wording first wording is a uh, selamat datang and then the second string is a uh, ke UMP. okay so we need to declare two array as shown in a coding two array so we use a two array the first array is uh, a selamat datang and then the second array is b ke UMP. And then we transmit the array, transmit the array A first by using the loop as in example for B. And use the uh, loop to transmit the uh, wording A, array A. So before we continue to the second wording, so we need to transmit the ASCII coding for enter instruction. Right, to make sure that uh, our second wording is in a new line otherwise it will continue at the same line with wording 1 so ASCII coding for enter is R backslash R and backslash N so you can use uh, you can use a uh, hexacode 0x 0t or you can use uh, uh, just a uh, backslash R so this Two code, two uh, two code is to uh, send the uh, enter instruction to the uh, uh, serial com. Okay, and then we continue with a uh, second wording and uh, to transmit the second wording. So you start to write. So we send uh, second array b b array to the uh, serial. Same, after complete the second wording, we need to transmit the ASCII coding for enter again. Okay, and then uh, we uh, compile this gram. And then we run the simulation. Okay, it displayed a uh, selamat datang 
and then ke UMP in the new line. Okay, if we are not right according for enter, the, the wording for wording 1 and wording 2 will continue at the same line. Okay, that's all for the uh, USAT transmission video. So, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to call or submit. Okay, see you in the next video series. Thank you.